Kido returns to Big's main team, Copenhagen Flames announce a brand new lineup, Sprout and G2 complete their rosters, and now we finally know more about the future of the French players Misura, Shox, Jax and NVK. Hey, it's Heku and this is HLTV Peak. Let's get started. After spending 5 months in the academy roster, Kido is back in Big starting 5. Kido has been working very hard on his return in the past months and has convinced with his excellent performances in the Big Omen Academy, says Daniel Finkler, the CEO of Big. The 23-year-old is taking place of Tizian, who will remain tied to the Berlin-based organization but in a new role. We also have some news about Germany's forever second team, Sprout. They have finalized their lineup ahead of the new season with the additions of two Danes, Refresh and Zypho. The most interesting part of this signing is that the ex-Copenhagen Flames rifler will take over in-game leadership, a role he will fill for the first time in his career. But you know, considering that he is Danish, he was probably born with a Stratbook. But once Copenhagen Flames said bye-bye to the last member of the major lineup, they announced a brand new one. The Danes signed a new roster that will be led by Bert from Sky. He is joined by Borup, TMB, Rals and Rigali. For those who are surprised by the appearance of the young Romanian opera in a Danish lineup, I have a pretty simple explanation. This dude has been living in Denmark since 2015, so at this point he has zero problems communicating in Danish. Knowing this, I'm actually surprised that he ended up playing on an international lineup of Fnatic Rising and not on the Danish one of Australis Town. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh yeah, about Fnatic Rising, they actually managed to win the V-Play Academy League Season 5. So let's take a moment and give them a round of applause because they definitely deserve it. Congrats guys! Finally! The long-anticipated off-season revamp is completed, so now we receive confirmation of something that we already knew two weeks ago. G2 have now officially added JKS and Hooksy to their lineup. The reason why I'm actually mentioning this is because they released an amazing video. In it, Monis refers to JKS as his new dad. What the fuck? Welcome, new papa. And Hooksy shows dominance over Nico. Hooksy, I'm applying for the IGL role. Well, what makes you think he would be a better IGL than me? I can Shut the fuck up, Nico. You're hired. If you have not seen it yet, you must, because that's a masterpiece. Alright, so for this episode's main menu, we have news about the French scene. Misura is officially out, and the long rumored move of Sphinx to Vitality has been confirmed. The Israeli star joins Vitality at a time when the French Danish team is in a dire need of a shakeup following a largely disappointing first half of the year. But this is not the end for Misura, since together with NBK, he got picked up by Falcons, which means that after getting experience in international teams, these two are making a return to the French scene. Falcons are set to make their debut at the IAM Road to Rio Open Qualifier and are going to compete in the ESL Challenger League Season 42. Misura and NBK are actually not the only Frenchmen who are returning to their roots. Just last week, he announced the benching of Lucky and confirmed the addition of Jax. Despite the results and evolution we have seen from the team in the first six months, when the opportunity to sign a player of Jax's caliber and Tier 1 experience, we understood that it was necessary to make the move, said Jazz, the COO of the organization. HID will debut their new roster at the ESL Challenger League Season 42 Europe starting on August 16. Last but definitely not least is Shox, who is not yet going back to the French scene, but he is returning to his home region. The Norwegian organization Apex announced the signing of the veteran who aims to share his experience with the younger players on the team and help Stiko transition to the in-game leader role with the ultimate goal of Apex becoming a tier 1 team. The roster's first challenge, obviously, will be the IEM Rio Major Open Qualifiers. A noticeable change also happened in one of the women's teams. The North American organization, CLG Red, said goodbye to Yuli that was there for two years, Emmy that was there for five, and Dai who played under their banner for seven years. The organization decided to go international, so besides adding Mats, they also signed a French player, Kaudet, and an Australian one, BBN. 
it will definitely be interesting to follow their new journey in the next season of ESL Impact. When it comes to events, the Open Qualifiers for the RMRs of the Rear Major start this week and sometimes it might not be easy to follow all of the results and news related to it. But don't worry, HLTV got you covered. We prepared a special page with links to the live games, results, standings, news and important dates. To reach it, you just need to add major after the slash in the hltv.org. I really recommend to check it out once you're done with this video. Next week, we'll be back with more news and the list of the first teams that qualified for the Rio RMRs. Until then, be nice to the randoms in your face at lobbies and make sure to repeat in a week.